Senator Jim Webb's visit to Myanmar is the first by a member of the U.S. Congress in more than a decade. And he appeared to make some headway with the military regime. His office says he won the release of American prisoner John Yetaw, who in a bizarre incident in May secretly swam to the lakeside house of detained democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi. The 53-year-old Missouri man thought he was on a mission from God to save Suu Kyi, but he ended up inadvertently extending her house arrest. Her house arrest for her pro-democracy activities had been expected to be over at the end of May. But Yetan's visit gave the ruling military junta a pretext, though they might have found one anyway, to keep her detained through a general election planned for next year. Suu Kyi was sentenced to an additional 18 months of house arrest, and Yeta was sentenced to seven years of hard labor. Suu Kyi has been detained for 14 of the past 20 years. Meantime, Webb's office says Yeta will fly out with him on a military plane to Bangkok. The senator also secured a rare visit with Suu Kyi. They met for 40 minutes. Webb says he requested that Suu Kyi be released during a meeting with the junta leader. It's the first time the reclusive general has met with a senior U.S. official. The visit, particularly the meetings with senior officials and Suu Kyi, was unusual because of the poor state of relations between Myanmar, also known as Burma, and the U.S. Many critics said it was bad timing for outreach, only days after the junta flouted international appeals that Suu Kyi be cleared of the latest charges. It drew criticism from activists who say it confers legitimacy on a brutal regime. Myanmar has been under military rule since 1962. Sandy Kozel, The Associated Press.